So, the reason I, we once spoke about this topic over here, just want to revisit this whole topic, is because so much misinformation. Someone told me that the internet could be incredible misinformation, not information. And wherever I go, people have been asking me about this. You know, the guy, there was a guy who was arrested, the whole story, and then he, yeah, can you, when do you, when do you force me, you don't force, and truth is, it is a, is a, is a, ma it is a problem, I don't know how big the problem is, it is a problem, and every community has their problems, you know, and I was, uh, and our community, Chabad community has, where people just don't want to give a get. So, this problem existed, it's not a new problem. That's the first thing you have to remember. It's not a, a 20th century, 21st century problem. This was a problem. You see in the Rishonim, the Chuas, a lot written, where a person didn't want to give a get, except they had a little bit more power leverage to do. Well, well, how did they do it? If, we'll get later. They had, uh, besides beating, there was other things. They, didn't, they made a chedem, you're not allowed to sell them meat, you're not allowed to sell them any food. So you, know, you don't have to give a get. But you're not going to get any food, you're not going to get any alias. You lived in a small hick town, you felt ostracized. You know, you don't have to give a get. We don't, you don't put a guy in Chedim to give a get, we later learn that, I'll explain that. But they had other powers. You know, they made, they made a Chedim that the, you're not allowed to make a bris for the children. Got a baby, you don't make a bris. How long ago? Oh, how long ago? Times of the times of Tzmosaifa. Still talk about it. So they had other ways, not always did it work. But other now, you know, I join another shoe, you know what I mean? And uh, I go shoe hopping and I go city hopping and, and there are people who hop. I remember a few years ago there was a guy da davening over here in the shul and no one knew what he was doing here. Took a few months and the word got out. He ran away from Bar Park, there's one he get. I know someone, a family member who ran away and to Canada, one of these small cities. Brazil, Brazil is the uh, used to be Dora Mikla. All right, and Brazil was Dora Mikla. Guy did him, uh, you know, and that's where they ran. So this guy, don't, uh, since the internet is on, they had a picture of him, and the Chabad rabbi kicked him out of shoe. You know what I mean? And then that would, uh, so it, it, to a degree, to a degree, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it exists. Our, the only problem is nowadays is sometimes you always have people who are action, an action uh, stubborn. So let me explain. You know, there are cases where the Gemara says, the Shekhano says, Ili koifim There are situations where you force the guy to give a get. First, if a koimer is a grusha or any bal uh, veda, there's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. The question is, the koimer is a divorced lady. Question is not that he marries a divorced lady. A guy gets married. He has other cases. He develops a reich choytum, a reich hape, has terrible breath, terrible uh, thing, and a normal person cannot tolerate such a thing. Or it becomes a mukeshchin. This was the gay many years ago. There was a guy who got who the AIDS came out in the 80s, beginning of the 80s, right? Something like that. There was a guy in 85, 86. I remember the story that he had a blood transfusion, yeah. he gets on, and he got AIDS. And he had to get divorced from his wife. You force him, she didn't want to get divorced, but you, you know, such a case if he doesn't want, because it's, the Gemara says there's an a, a illness called mukeshchen. Well, we don't know what it is, it, it's sort of the limbs start disintegrating. And the Gemara says you could force a guy to give a get. Even, so she, the, she, even she doesn't want it. Even though she doesn't want it. Because it's unhealthy, or if, if she doesn't want, if you then not gonna live with them, or there's gonna be other people. In that case, the best. By themselves. Yes. The the she has no right to be in danger. A lady cannot say, "I want to be married, so I'll get AIDS, I'll die with him." <laughs> Why would a lady say that? Why would a lady say that? Why can't she? Why can't she? Why can't she? Because. The reason why I can't say that is because uh, uh, you're not of a boss of your own life. You have to take care of your life. You're not allowed to live with someone and get, get what's his name, get um, AIDS. AIDS is still a deadly disease, right? If I'm correct. I think it 
Yeah, you know, I used to be very short. I used to live longer. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's no dirt. It's the, they live a little longer. It's still there. No, no, no. They, Yes, or, you could. Or, or well, can marry uh, you can marry if she's ill. That's not a problem. But you cannot marry to someone who you're going to get a contagious yeah. Ill illness. And if, if it's a, a silly illness, I mean, small illness, not a problem. Itchy or, I would call this, I forgot how it's called in English, tra sexual tra transmitted diseases, which is not, it's not dangerous as far as I know. But something that she will either want past each other, something that's dangerous, you're not allowed to. But they must say, person, it's not contagious. A person could marry someone who suffers from diabetic, suffers from mental illness, suffers from anything. They could marry. You understand? But they can't. That's a separate issue. Here, the Gemara says, the Torah Chazal said, no, because it is, what's his name? It is dangerous. So that's, the Gemara gives a list. And the Shukran has a whole long list about this. Those are the ones which mentioned in the Gemara, and Koifa means you beat him up till he gives a get. Now, it's, I just want to say there's a machlik is how to show them how Koifa works. Everyone knows the Rambam. Every Shiva Bacha knows the famous Rambam. The Rambam says everyone wants to be good till you hit him because the Yitzhahara doesn't want. You hit him, you make the Yitzhahara weak. It's a very difficult Rambam, but uh, because you're gonna, if you get beat up, I'm gonna tell you whatever you want to tell me. You know what I mean? What do you want to tell me that the moon is green? I'll tell you the moon is green. Well, it's very interesting Rambam, but that we don't argue on the Rambam. We, 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 that's what the Rambam learns. The other Rishonim who learn much more complicated. But I just want to say another Rishon. He learns the Ritbaz and they learn the Rosh learns that way. They learn that Chazal said the Koyf and the Loitzi, and the get. It, it, you know, when a person makes a kedushin, he says kedas. Moshe Yisur, you know, I read Mikdash's knee. Kedas Moshe Yisur, you know what I mean. You know, when he gives, he gives a condition. He says Kedas Moshe as Moshe Rabbeinu, and, and how you say in English, uh, Kedas is the religion of Moses and Israel. That means Kalam Kadosh Adai to the Rebbeinu Kadosh, and we rely that the, these cases with the, the Torah says you get force. That how does it work? The kedusha was never kedusha. Because that's what the Chazal Institute, the Gemara talks about it. That's what the Chazal Institute, if you're writing for some again, it's really not a get, but it's going to work. So, you know, this problem that. Well, the theoretical, that's what the Shem said. You could, you could metal mamzerim. This is a famous, I don't want to go into this a long the discussion, but you just asked this, the Rivash who talks about this. That's a separate discussion. So let me, let me go on. So it really, let me explain what the, the, the cases in the Gemara. That most cases that we have, this is not the problem. Most cases, when there's a, a Shem bias, it's not that he's a mikushchin, it's not that he's a bad breath, and not that he, that because the Shulchan has cases. One of the cases the Shulchan discusses throwing the guy, guy throws his wife out in the street or beats her. That's not the case. Most often, just don't get along. I don't like you. We argue. Most often, most often it's it's what we call muis alai, which means the lady says, "I don't like you." I had, I'm going to say it in public, a horrible story happened. And a modern Orthodox rabbi, who is, uh, you know, he doesn't live anymore, but he deserves to give him patch. He ca came to me, and uh, this lady wanted a divorce. Why did she want a divorce? She fell in love with someone else. Then we, what? I said to him. You know, that happens in life. He didn't want to give a get. Imagine, imagine such a corruption. But I'm saying, so most often today, when the problems is, 90% of the problems, when a man doesn't want to give a get, 
is, and, and he, so if he doesn't want to give a get, I don't want to give, I don't want, I don't want to be married to her, but I don't want to give a get, something like that. So then, then it's a whole different question. We'll explain later. But again, that's the other question that he doesn't want to become oina, doesn't want to give mezoinus. Oina means to be intimate. He doesn't give mezoinus. The most often he doesn't want to give a get is that uh, he wants to be together, wants to make shalom. That's most often. The lady wants out muasalai. That's it. Just, I once told the lady, you want to get, tell him, you know, the only way you can wait, you come to bed and say, come home. If he's not going to want to come home, then uh, Ben Bezden could... Uh, no, of course, he does, most often the rule of the game is the one who's rejected doesn't want to give a get. That's the rule. That's, uh, that's I always find the rule. That uh, who is giving a hard time? The one who was rejected. The one who said, uh, it's always that way. The one who said, the one who got, I don't want you, I want out, you don't want me, you think you're going to get a get? But either way, if uh, he ran off with another lady, then it's the other way around. You want to get, you ain't getting a get. So the bottom line is 90% of the cases that, with, which stories that I've dealt in, uh, stories of here, is only what we call Mu'asalai. Now let me explain what Mu'asalai is. Yeah. Yeah, yes, both sides. The, see, but to, we're talking about forcing the man. Okay? He says, I don't like it. Most often a woman take a get because you get a head to made bone. Somehow, somehow, uh, woman, uh, you know, woman quickly, it's really they have to make a head to made bone because women, even though they were rejected, you know, they'll, nowadays they'll take a get quickly. Other way around, where he has the power, eh? she wants out of the marriage. So most often, let me explain what happens. Muasalai. What is Muasalai? He says, I don't like him. So the Rambam is a Das Yochid. Such a Das Yochid, the Mechaba doesn't bring it down even. The Rambam's opinion is that if a person says Muasalai, how do you say Muasalai? Disgusted? Disgusted. That's the right word in English. Disgusted. I cannot live with him. You force him to give a get because the Rosh and the Rambam is a woman is not a Shivcha. She's not forced to be living with this man. That's the Lushan Rambam. So the, the, the Rabbeinu Tam and all the Balotesis all ask Amiru de Yikasha. The Gemara says in the end of Mesechtis Nedorim, a lady comes to Bez and says, you know what, I had an affair. The Chutusi of Yisip Shati cries, I never had an affair. You know what we tell her? Go fly a kite. You can stay married. She said she had an affair. She's also, why don't we believe her? You know why I don't believe her? Maybe she found someone else and she wants out of the marriage and she says, I was Mazana. She's full of baloney. She wasn't Mazana. She's lying. But she wants out of the marriage and this is a good way to get out of the marriage. That's what the Gemara says. I'm not, I, I don't go into the pilpil, how to the bottom, but I'll tell you, you do believe your own. Let's just focus on the bottom. Bottom line is, a lady says, Tmeani, she's not Naman. I always like to say a shocking noidi behuda because I see sometimes the bonum who don't learn Ebenezer, they learn from the Kitsurim, they don't get it. I had a guy who's about to make a get for a couple. She says, well, ask the Rav, why, why did he get involved? She said she was Mazana. I said, what? Yeah, but, yeah, but you know, she really meant it. So let me t I told him, let me tell you a story with the noidi behuda. The noidi behuda has a story, a lady was dying. And as she was dying, she called her husband and she begged for forgiveness. You know that I cheated on you. I'm dying. Please forgive me. Yeah, what should he say? His wife is dying. He says, I'll forgive you. What happened? She got better. My house is good. She got better. And people all around said, the Chavah Kedisha was already there. She's dying. She got better. And the, the, the Rav, the, what did you say? Taking back his forgiveness. And the Rav there in the city was a big girl. Hell, that's such a situation. Of course, for sure. So Noidi Bida says, if the Chazal said the Isha Sha'amun is Tmeani and in Ammon, is a cross. You know why? Maybe she's such a good actress. She put up a good, uh, she went to Hollywood school, whatever it's called. Down the block, I noticed there's a school. I saw a store from actress, what is it called? Actress Shoes. The street. So maybe she went to school. So that's what Noidi Bida says. She put up such a, such a, such a good act. So maybe we don't believe her. So what is it? That's, what do you say?
dying. A dying declaration? We have in Shulchan Aruch also, but by Dina Mominus. By Dina Mominus. And when it says, Enu de Meshat Meshas Misa, we have such a concept. But the Chazal said, if a guy is dying, even though he's dying, maybe she's a good actress. She has no motive at that point. What, what? She has no motive to lie at that point. Yeah, but maybe she's an actress. That she's dying? Yeah, yeah she's that's what the Noidi Media says. Maybe. You're right. She has no motive. She thinks she's dying. The Noidi Media says maybe she was so good at it. Okay, so with, with, in yeah, a situation. Like, well, you have so many other things. No, I'm saying a situation where the doctors are there and uh, she's dying. After, I don't know. I have to look up again the Nushan I have to look up his language. But he's talking about but everyone knew that she was dying. Then he said, maybe she ain't faked it. I have to, I have to learn, learn his words. It is a loy plug. I have to medike his words. I don't remember about Pe. But the Noi Yudi said clearly, very, very clearly, that we, so if a lady says to Mayani, we say tough. That's what we say. Not Naaman, go back to your husband. Because Chazal said, maybe she wants out of the marriage. She had Shrei Toysvis and all the Rishonim um, Melissa and I is the same thing if Yedramam is right that if a lady says I'm disgusted we force them to give again every lady is going to say Melissa and I so the Rambam is such a Chiddush the Marik brings down I remember now where Marik is an early edition there was you know unfortunately when there was good in Spain when they left they started a new community the, the Spanish Jews, someplace, I forgot which city, and they accepted to do all Marugna Peter Rambam. This Rambam, they're not going to do. This was in the, how you say, the charter, the, when they wrote the, the, when they knew the name, they wrote this in this now, because it was a disaster in time. So people ask, everyone asks me all the time. So I have a Is lady who's a bit. Only in Muslim. Yeah, and it has to be you convince Musa lie. You know, I was at a, I was uh, sitting at a Besden. I don't want to say the names of the people, but I was sitting at a Besden, and uh, she came in with a toyin. Yes, and she says Musa lie. It was so clear to me there was not the Musa lie. The reason she wanted she was embarrassed to go back to her husband is because she had an affair. She caught him in the affair. And she told all her friends she was just embarrassed to go back. Sim- not Muzalai. She was going to go back. If the guy had a fear, that's not like a legitimate reason. No. Also, it's not a, no. I don't know. It's, it's not legitimate to say to collect Suba. She can, can she say Muzalai and, and not yeah. collect Suba? No. That's no. Not no. Thing. no. He doesn't even have to divorce. He doesn't have divorce. That's Muzalai. No. So she had an so affair. She gave patch. <laughs> Chaim Alkas. You, you fit the coin. He has nothing that. to do, so he's yeah. a coin. If she's a coin, if he's a coin, she says, even the even Asia's coin is to Then she could get out of the marriage. The what? Bad bread. Yeah. But if That's he cheats bad. on her, then she has to stay married. Yes. And if he's a, I'll soon show you cases which is worse than cheating. But uh, uh, anyway, so the, the, uh, uh, even the Ramam says, Musalai, let me just finish my thought. It has to be, you really know it's Musalai. Even that, the Rishon Ross agree. I was sitting in a basin, and the, the Toyin tried to convince the Muslim. But, you know, we have a rule. It doesn't work like in court. Let her talk. You know, a person talks, talks, talks. Someone told me in English, says you give him enough rope to hang himself. So it's a kind of English that I was told. But you let a person talk, everything comes out. It's man, is a mechel chuvoy. The ganze kuvit came to us when you talk. So it, I was very clear that when she was talking, she didn't realize what we were saying. The toy was says, don't talk. And I, I says, be quiet. And she very clearly came out. She said the words, Muasalai, and she, she was so fancy. But as she started talking, it's very clear. What am I going to tell my friends now? I told my friends that I caught them. You know, today people have cameras and they have a PI, whatever it's called, and they have pictures. What am I going to tell my friends? Her problem was, what am I going to tell my friends? It's not even a Muslim lie. But even if she would say, I am so disgusted that he did such a thing, um, I, bruh, has, uh, the, the show him say, you, you, cannot, you cannot, every lady is going to want out of the marriage going to say. So people ask me, so what are the women supposed to do? You know what you're supposed to do? I, I always say over a story. There was a great person. His wife fed him poison. She gave him AIDS. My Mishtadov way, worse than AIDS. You know what she did? She killed him. She murdered him. Chava gave Uda Marishan the apple to eat. I don't know why he gave it to eat. And he killed her. She killed him, I'm sorry. She killed him. So he was annoyed. In 130 years, he got separated. And then he took her back. You know why he took her back? 
there was no one else. If she's the only lady in the world, <laughs> then it's Sholom Ali Saul. I, 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 I always say in the Shev, why is 40 days? You don't find any place, Chazal, 40 days. You can have this 40 days, go and see the Savlad, Bas Polin and Why do we make such a big announcement? Bas Polin and Plain. You, there's no other lady in the world but this. If you know there's the only lady in the world, you make peace. The only reason you can't make peace, you know, there's another one, and there's a nicer one, there's a kind one. We men have Mishigas, you know, uh, that's how we are. But if you know this is the only one, you make peace. If your person would know this is the only one, and, and you know that in Europe there was less divorces. My mother's a very smart lady, and she told me, you think there was better shown by The statistics were the same. But you can get divorced. A man needed a wife, a wife needed a man. There was no, like, there was no, if uh, our mother says in her in, in thing, there was no restaurants, where's she gonna eat? Who's gonna do the laundry? <laughs> Today. <laughs> That's not a problem. You can get TV dinners, you can go to restaurants, the laundry's not a problem. You can get a shiksa to do the laundry, to clean the house. That's not the problem. A woman feel, if he doesn't treat me respectfully, nicely, I'm a, an average woman earns more than a stomach fill. An average educated woman <laughs> could earn a, why do I need him for? But when, when, the, when, the, uh, when the lifestyle was different, they needed each other, they made peace with each other. They're not deliberate, it doesn't mean there was, uh, you know, and every time he walked through the door and she had, wow, my husband's walking through the door. It didn't exist. That's, the reality is, I once looked it up, I think 17% of marriages are, are happy. And, you know, a, a little less than that is about 8, 12% are very happy, and the rest goes sliding down. Yeah? Chazal knew this with their ultimate wisdom, and they said, this is what they said, that after uh, we can, we want the marriage. Why did the Chazal massacre an Aksuba? Do you know why? The whole Aksuba. This is one of the questions someone showed me on the internet to ask this question. So why did the Chazal, I guess, he got it all wrong, that's why there's misinformation. The Chazal made it super, shele kala be'ein of legarsha. What do you mean? If he doesn't want it, let him give it. You know what modern Orthodox people say? If he doesn't like it, they shouldn't live under one roof. You ever heard this argument? <laughs> doesn't like it? How did the bottom come do such a thing? If, you know, because we follow our moods, we'll be in trouble. Because, you know, one day you wake up and I like her, and then I had a woman more than once cried bitterly that that's the dumbest thing she did, that she got divorced. He says, but you wanted, I had a lady, <laughs> you were screaming, yeah, 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 well, but, but that was the dumbest thing I did. See, Chazal said, we don't want to break up families, especially if there's children. You know, the Yanke Vivini, I, I don't know if I said this over one, Yanke Vivini gets up the first morning after he makes the, gets married, he thought to Rocha, gets up in the morning, it's Leia. So the Madrid says, he starts screaming at her, Yanke Vivini, you're such a liar. I asked you last night if you're Rochel, and he said, yes, and you turn out to be Leah. So you know what she tells him? I had a good teacher, a good rabbi. Who's your rabbi? If you told your father you're Esau, then I could say, I am Leah. Now uh, Rochel. It's a nice sh 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 first morning Sheva Bruchas. So the Madrish, it's a true Madrish. So the Madrish, she wanted to give her a get. And the Rishonim learned, not just to get, the Mephoshim Madden says, he didn't have to give a get. It was about Kedisha to us. Why didn't he give a get? He was margish, she became pregnant right away. How can I divorce the mother of my child? With Simon Uvis the bottom. How can you get divorced? Children, anyone, anyone as a chenech will tell you, children from divorced homes suffer terribly. You know, one of my children, unfortunately, Baruch Hashem is doing well, had to get chemotherapy when he's a teenager. So i never forget this, the social worker, she called herself, she's from this neighborhood, she called herself Conservadox. So she said, Conservadox, she said. And she said to me two p profound things. One thing she said, the more religious amuna they have, the more the children uh, 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 gain, less scar. Another, she told all of us, uh, statistics show we followed children who had ke uh, chemotherapy and they survived. It didn't leave a scar emotionally. They became better people, more empathetic, more humble. You know why they don't survive, she told us? A divorce. Not one child survives a divorce. That's the reality. So, Chazal didn't want you to get divorced. And the truth is, Chazal made Iksuba that Shiloh Kalabane of the Gausha. That's what it is. So, Iksuba, they knew, you know what I tell people? Imagine under the Chuppah, a lawyer is going to read the prenuptial agreement. 
You know about the Ksuba is a prenuptial. Why do you read it on the Liksuba? You know why I tell every chasen? You know why we read it on the Ksuba? I want to tell you something. You think that from now on everything is going to be so loving and you know every chasen, young chasen, especially from chasanam, this is the first girl he touched, and you know he thinks that. I want to tell you, you're going to have ups and downs in the marriage. They make ksuba shirikal ein begarsha. That's the reality. You have to work it out. You have to make it work. This is what Chazal wanted. How much is the ksuba? The mei Chazal, it was two years. I don't know if I ever explained it over here once. That the zma, when the Yidin left Bovel and they went to Europe, you know, the manhaga, uh, I don't know the date so well. Ben Chanal before, right before Ben Chanal, from then. Uh, it, the silver, you know, in the Gemara's times, the silver, the difference was one to eight times. Rashi says in Bermatsiya. How much is the silver between gold? Who knows the market? Oh, it's crazy. Who knows the market? 150, nobody is. Uh, uh, gold is $2,000, I don't know. Yeah, and the silver is babkis. Sure. It, 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 so this was not now. When he even came to, what's his name, to, from, to, from, uh, from Bubble. Okay, Europe, the silver was so cheap, people got divorced. So they doubled the ksuba. That didn't help. So the Beni Gersh went, he made the chayrim. You shouldn't give a get bal korcha. It says in the Ramu that we Ashkenazim, we have ksubas only a minik, because we cannot get divorced anyways bal korcha. Because it's not going to be kalabayin of the But of course we keep the ksuba, because chayrik of the ksuba was that you have two years to live. So one of the things that the modern Orthodox make a big tumult, someone showed me an article, that we should add to the ksuba how much it, an average woman needs to live two years. So you not add. There's nothing wrong with toysi ksuba. The Svardim all, right? The Persians do a toysi ksuba. But the other Svardim, if you ever went to Svardish weddings, they, last time I went to Svardish wedding, the, it was 500,555. I asked the guy, Api Kabbalah, Kabbalah. Everything was 555. That's what he told me, right? You know that? And they all applaud. Everyone applaud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Chazal made it, Shalkal So the Chazal knew that it's not this, why I'm saying this, that many people have this. If it's not working, why do you, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're more than standing there. I don't understand. How do you prove boys? What is, how do you it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Very, very difficult. I once asked Rabbi Tauba, I have this question, that, that case, and uh, I, before she came in, and, and the Italian said, Musa, Musa, they kept on saying, so he says, they also don't know, because uh, you never know, because I'll say we don't trust. But he said, one time I tell you what happened. The, and he told me the had what Rabbi Talba very chosh of a bez namansi. So he said they had a lady who was screaming was a lie. And after they heard all the tamas, they called in the husband and wife. And we told the wife, you have to go back to your husband. He said he in his life never saw such a physical reaction. Her whole body started trembling, and she was holding the table. The table was trembling. He, he, he they thought they were going to call out Solomon. He, he, he doesn't know what happened. He started shaking, trembling. There's such an idea that she's going to have to go back. She was the street, though. Yeah, no, there was a, a, a how did he, they noticed it was a... Um, spontaneous. Spontaneous. It wasn't like, you know, this... It's four years of yeah, but it's not, we can't force. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. That's what he said he saw. Women are taught to say was a lie. I, I not saw that case. I saw. The toy told her, use the word Mu'asalai. She didn't know how to say Mu'asalai correctly. And, uh, so in, in, in the case of the Nuzabi Yehuda, the wife says, uh, do you forgive me? And she lives. The husband cannot say Mu'asalai? Or he can? The husband can say That's a bit well, well, that's a mu- we, uh, we, The husband could say whatever he wants. If he wants to give a get, he has to bake super. Well, understood. Yeah, so the, the super, that's kept the husband in check. What keeps the husband in check? What keeps the husband in check? The ksuba. What keeps the wife in check? Well, hold on. The ksuba these days is how much money? Today, it's a joke. So we have the cheder made in Gershon. So that's why it says, I never learned that sermon. It says, by, if a lady says to me, Ani, he cannot give her a get. If she doesn't want, he cannot give her a get because cheder made in Gershon. The, 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 by a woman, by a man, how do we control the man not to just throw the wife away? Is it ksuba or cheyden ben gershen? How do we control the lady not to throw the marriage just like that away? For, for say Musala, he has to give a get. He has to give a get. So it's going to be a disaster. How do you know how we do that? The, uh, doesn't make a difference, but she wants out of the marriage. She wants to be a meredes. Divorce me. 
Meredes means she's not going to have She's white happy. She wants out. She wants to be a Meredes. So even if she says, to me, Anich, we don't trust her. And she can't get out of the marriage. See, that's, that's, so what's, what's, what puts on checks? What's the answer? Because we, we, don't, we don't accept her Melissa Lai. That every lady would say Melissa Lai, every lady would say to me, Anich, and the, the marriage would go kaput. But I think the problem comes down to this. There's a practical problem today, which is we're giving the man power. We're saying she's not an Emma. He's an Emma. He can choose. Even though we have a claim of immigration, he can still he can still manipulate. How does he manipulate? Because he holds that power. Yeah, but still, and how to? If she doesn't want to take a get, there's nothing you can do. Same power. Same power. The only reason why it's less power because unfortunately. They leverage it. No, no, no. They they don't. You know, I know a guy. I know a guy. Uh, there was a guy living in this community. I still think he lives in this community. I'm not sure. I asked, asked him, he spoke about it, and asked, asked him. Uh, uh, he, he left his wife in New York, and he's living with a girlfriend here. He acts like a from person, and he whiz, uh, goes davening, and so for years no one knew about it, and then, you know, someone located him. He abandoned his wife. See, um, unfortunately, that's the only which we can't change. A lady knows that she's Mazana, she's Chayef Kudis. He knows he, he's living with a girlfriend, and I don't know, but you know, a man is, that's the difference between a man and a lady. But Lemaisa, let me explain something. When a, when, you don't hear many stories. The thing is, you don't hear many stories of a, of a woman saying, I'm, I'm not accepting the get. But you hear a lot of stories of men saying, I'm refusing to the get. And many times it's utilized. You know why? Do you know why it's more? I, don't, I, think, I think it's more because more often women say no to the man, the man says than the lady, most often. Say most often the woman's the Yeah, because she, 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 you know, she can't tolerate him. Man, so, what I'm saying is the point at the end of the day is that you have situations where a person's leveraging it against business, against money, or leveraging it against because he just wants, he's angry, he's being upset. Yeah, if that, now let me get to it soon. I want to get to it. So most often, it's just the most. Now the question is, we know he doesn't want to go back. He, I don't want to go back, but I want money. That's what he says. I don't want to go back. Then the Shulchan Aruch says that if he person says he doesn't want to give me zoinus, you're going to tell him then go back to her. See, the problem is like this. The biggest problem is if she would say I want him back, then we could force him to give a get. Often the woman don't play it right. I don't want him, and I don't want you, but you're the one who moved out first. You know what I mean? So then, you know, we can't force a get. If a woman says I want him back. Let him give him his oiness. Most often, let me take a typical case. What are you asking? Most often, she kicks him out of the house. I'm fed up with you. I don't want you anymore. So then, he leaves. And he says, okay, I don't want to give a get. So if she would say, you know what? I want you back. Bring me his So you have to give him his oiness. You have to give him oiness. He doesn't want to do that. Then, there's a machlaikis. The machabe says, the machabe says, you could beat him up and give him, make him give a get. The Shulchan Aruch, if he doesn't want to be kind, the mitzvahs, oina, who can the the, the shach says you shouldn't do it, but but I, I could I could hear the leniency of it because uh, but most often it doesn't play, it doesn't play out this way. What happens is you don't want me, then I don't want you. I'm not. I told the lady, why don't you play? Why don't you play it dumb? She doesn't want. So six years she's a maguna. You know, the arguing, or let's say the you know. The, this is the would, most. Would they force him? How would they force him today? Today, that's the story that he was arrested. Yeah. Hi, he did a few times. He has done. You know. With certain cases, you could, but most often you cannot. Most often, the, when, a, when a person is, let's say, the argument so is. From a purely halakhic standpoint, what these guys were doing was seemingly okay. Well, you have to know each case. Yeah. It's this way. Guy didn't want to forget. He told all the schools not to take in the children. He told all the schools he. The Chabad school he called up and they listened to him. Looks like he has a power in the, in the Chabad school. He thought, this guy thought, I'll send my children to Chabad school. And he said, I'm sorry, not come to this school. He couldn't buy meat and go on. And finally he gave a get. He had to stay there because his business was there. You know, there is ways. If, if there would be Amor Achdis in this account, there's a case where my community over here, there's a lady. She's, both are difficult. That's where there's no get. She, you know, he's, he, it's a chess game. He happens to play the chess a little better than she does. That's it. She doesn't want to sign anything. She doesn't want to sign it to take to go to Basnish. What can I do? So sometimes it's it's her own fault. I mean, practically uh, speaking, if, if if this situation does occur to her and he is forced to give a get, 
So and, it, and, and, he, and it was improper for him. Then the get is a puzzle to get. And if she got remarried based the on children of Mamzaidim. Do we know that that happened? Oh, sometimes. sometimes. The, 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 we, specifically in this case? Which case? Muncie? She got another get. She got another get. But there's a bunch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, you know, I'm not with her. But there, in that case, the Rebbeinu passed the get, and she got another get. You know, the, the, I know. I know. They asked me to massage the kedushin, and I, I, who made the get, and I was. I refused to massage the kedushin. I don't know. I still don't know what was going on, and uh, someone else was massage the kedushin. You know what I mean? Uh, but uh, it's true. If it was Shlai Pialocha, the children of Mazayim. That's what the shach is very machma. The shach has very few yeah. cases. So let me tell you a case what Mechava brings down. You'll be shocked. When two cases, when you tell it to people, it's shocking. The, the, drosh, the, the drosh means it's shuva. The father it was univ evyon. You know what univ evyon means? I mean, poverty of poverty. That's an expression. And he married off his daughter to someone, that we, in Yiddish we call her immensh. You know, uh, how do you say in English? I don't know how you see this. You know, a guy who's anger, uh, an anger person. And she got married to him, and he's a very angry person. He shouldn't be angry. She says she's afraid for her life. He get, I think I looked up on Zichuva. He, when he gets angry, he bites into, the, into, into to wood. You know, the real, what we call a real. Uh. So the, the Rosh writes, and she's afraid for her life. She wants to get. So, and the, the Rabbanim. Ask the Rosh. It's also very interesting. No one made a false get unless they asked the Gedol Ador. All the Chuvas in the Chaim, you notice. No one wanted to take responsibility. So it bothers me sometimes people just do it like that. They always ask the Gedol Ador. So ask the Rosh. So this was a whole city with a big basin. They held a false a get and they asked the Rosh. The Rosh says we cannot force a get only what says in Chazal. What should I do? He says. He doesn't want to give a get. And she's afraid for her life. No, what should we do? There's nothing we can do. The Chazal said, we, the Rosh's opinion is, if it's not mentioned in Chazal, the, the, the list, and we cannot force a get, even though she's afraid of her life. So the list again is, is if he doesn't give a Zionist? Doesn't give a Zionist, and, he, um, and, oh, and doesn't give Oina, and it's a Mikishkin, and some of them. There are other cases, but and most we pass, you can't force a get. You could, we could pressure him to give a get, but the Gemara Shulchan said we can't force them to give again. Let me tell you another case. This is the Haisa in English. This is Mamash Meiridik. The Noida Behida brings a story that the people in the city, people in the city wanted a, 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 someone to give force again. What happened? Pliny Anoini left his wife. They were very poor, and he left his wife. He left one day. He didn't come back. I said it once, but I'm here. And someone told me after the Shir. There's a famous story in the news where a guy disappeared, a doctor disappeared for years. You know about the story? Someone said over here, this, uh, the last time I came. The guy, this, uh, uh, one day, and then he, 12 years he disappeared. What happened? After he went to another city, got married to another lady, and the, the truth came out that after, you know, those days there was no internet, or whatever, the guy forced him to give a get. So he comes back to the city of his wife, and he says, I want to live with you. And she says, what? I'm a chitzev, 12 years of disappear on me. So what do the people want to do in town? They want to break his bones. But before they did it, they're going to ask them, no, he didn't. No, no. He says, I'm very sorry to tell you, you cannot force him to give a get. So what was the shala? Maybe you could, one of the things you could force a get, he was over cherem the Beni Gershon. Because if you're over the Beni Gershon, it's like making a nadir and the children are going to die. The Gemara says one of the things is of an Adramas. They didn't give the Zaynas for so many years. Yeah, what's that? So the first is the Shoy that says, you're over the Beni Gershon. So the Beni Gershon was over only one time when he got married. Afterwards, he says, I don't know if the Rav had a right to force him to give a get. The you only over at the night of the wedding. Who says you're over later? That's I didn't give him Zaynas. He said he was poor. And it says in Shechan when a guy, Mamish, cannot afford it, he cannot, you know, it's not that he doesn't want to go to work. There is no, nothing, you can't force a get. It's a big machloikas. If a guy could go to work, he doesn't want to go to work, then you go down. But if a guy can't work, he's, uh, he's handicapped, so you can't force. And the, and the, the Rav says this matzav and where they were living, it was very, very desperate. So he says, yeah, and he goes through all, all the things. Some, how can I tell you, you can't force him. If you, not only can you force him, you can't even put pressure on him. We were, 
pressure because the shulchan aruch says certain case you don't force somebody, you put them, you don't let them meet, you don't give them aliyah, you don't make and all these things. You can't. I agree, says the noy divida. It be possible to get. You're not allowed to do that. I agree. The noy divida says that if she says I don't want to go back to him, she's not a meredes. <laughs> that I agree. I once had someone wanted to force a get in this town, I, and I, with, with their fear, the story with their fear. I took it to Shulchan Aruch and I said, and, and I says, which is worse, having an affair or a guy abandoned his wife for twelve years? And what was his tenets? His tenet was he went from the Zionists. So it's very clear for Nodi Behi that the way he writes it in the tshuva, it's very cute the way he writes it. Other or the nine. This is a Yiddish expression. You heard that expression? Maybe yes, maybe no. Who knows if that's the truth? But that's what he says. So we can't force him. It's not that I, he, I believe him. Oh, he, he writes very nicely. Oh, the other oh, nine. Yeah, who knows what the guy was not so poor. And he got with help of the Then he's the not then says, but he's besuping in that. Even that he's besuping in the Shiva. Now he's back. What what's the actually not for twelve years? What? You can't now say come and say Yeah, 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 yeah uh, that's back. That you have to learn the tshuva, very long tshuva, how he deals with this. What, I'm giving a mashu. You see, it doesn't work so easy. What's the actual rationale for like this mechanism of sometimes you can force, sometimes you can pressure, but it really has to be his own doing? The rush in the tshuva so, says the well. There's a big mechlek in the chayin. And then how does the, the RCA the prenup fit in with this whole? Thing? Prenup works differently. The prenup works that they 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 write in, and if you don't show up to a bezin. You have to pay a knas of $250 a day, a day. So this was just passed in court a few months ago. The a guy owed uh, $90,000 accumulated in the three years. And, and in Connecticut, he was living. And, it didn't want, and the Supreme Court of Connecticut held it, and he has to give $90,000. So why did this help? This helps that the, either side is petrified not to show up to a business. A guy can always just rack up bills. I mean, that doesn't change. You can owe a million dollars, so now what? Oh, so they garnish. It's a legal thing. Why do you think the guy, the, the guy was fighting it in court? They took away his house. They garnish, you know, if you have, a, 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 you have a judgment, you could garnish the, the, the wages. So these guys, a lot of times, some of the guys, schleppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if he's not a schlepper, he has a piece of business. Right. He's petro. It, it's the fear. Do you think it's a good thing? That of, I, well, I used to think not. Because Rabbi Yashiv was against it, and I see, see, and I think that Rabbi Yashiv was not told in the answer. So it's much easier. It's a so if the Rabbanut sees that a guy should give a get, they 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 just tell him you have to give his oynus. I have a very close friend, and, and his sister, and the Sheva Bruchas. Imagine in the Sheva Bruchas, and they were supposed to go to Sheva Bruchas, and he was you know a young Kala was putting on makeup. Said, what are you taking so long? And he gave her a slap. Cool. That was the last she saw him. <laughs> she went straight home. Straight home. There was no shavuot that night. Didn't want to give a get, and then he, she, there was no way she was going to go back. And they went to Rabbanut, and you know. And so the first year, the Rabbanut said five thousand dollars was This is twenty years ago. The next year, she still didn't give a get. It was ten thousand dollars. The third year it was fifteen. Fifteen thousand dollars in Israel oh. twenty years ago is guilt. So. Yeah, but she got five thousand dollars. The next year, ten thousand dollars. So the rabbanut only does it. Wait, not then. You can't force a get. You can't. But the rabbanut says we can't. We, you know, this is nowadays. And at the third year, he gave a get. So he was a he was a rosh. You know what he did? After the get, he said that it was magdish the paper and the pen the hegdish. So it wasn't his paper. So all the rabbanut said is not Naman, She got married and finished the second. The bottom line is, in Etzisol, there's less agunas because they go to court. And here, and we don't have that jail. power. What? They go to jail if they don't pay mezoinus. They don't put, you know, can't put a guy into jail for not giving get. You can't put a chedim. They just, the, the rabbinu does a very simple trick. But you, you, don't, you don't have to give a get, but you have to give mezoinus. If he beats her many times and you warn him not to beat him, it says that what Moses says you have to warn him, and after you warn him, if he still beats her, you can force him to give a get. Yes, the Shachanov being such an opinion. But no these days who, who, who's going who's gonna to go to prison for that? You, in America, if you hit someone, you go to prison. Look what happened to this guy in New York. Oh, not happening here. 
No, no one's interested. If, he, if, if she calls the police on him, he gets arrested yeah. and he goes to jail. Yeah. And then when he's in jail, they can't give him his ID. Then she can demand again. Yeah, but it's the same thing like the guy who uh, ran out. away for 12 years. Yeah, no, but, uh, you he's know. Like, I'm oh, yeah, I'm all he's in jail. Yeah. Hey, they, you got me thrown into jail. Yeah, it, it, I, I would have given you, but you got put me in jail. That's so right. So you say, what Anyways, I don't, I don't, I, if he beats her, you have to warn him. It says in the Ramon. The Ramon has a whole procedure about how you do this. You have to warn him. And you have to tell him. Not to the best, not to warn him. Put him to hide him when he does it. And then if he violates it, then not everyone agrees to that. You know, not everyone, not, and another thing, the Khamsi brings another story. A, a guy had an affair with an Eshazish. Not with a girl. With an Eshazish. And a, 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 a high chorus. And it also says, can't force a get. See, it, it, it sounds terrible, but that's the reality. Can't force a get. And what all this does is, that very often if a person knows that a divorce is very difficult, we stay together. When we're learning Subas, someone brought me in about 12, 15 years ago, uh, 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 a U.S. News World Report uh, statistic. In the states where the divorce is very expensive, there's less divorces. So they checked out if the marriages are good. What did they see? Now, once he's fi- figured out he can't get divorced, they make peace with it. That's how the nature of a person is. The guy told me, you know, his wife wasn't well. She was, uh, had mental illness. And he was, yes, divorced, not divorced. There were two young children. Yes, not. As soon as he decided, I'm going to stay with it, stick it out, he, he made peace with it. He had shalom The day wasn't the question. The question was, you know, she, she was not well. You want to say something? The system you're laying out, she could be dead by the time. She has to run away. You're right. It happened in other set of Wait, it happened. Hold it. Let me finish up. Hold it. This man is fucking dead. She's high. Well, she can't. She has. She has to run away. She can't kill him. You can. Yeah, you, you can run away to the. What's it called? The safe did, house. If, it's called. If she did. So, if she. If she. She hired me. So. She hired someone to kill him. I'm afraid for my wife. I'm afraid. Well, there's not afraid. She could run away. In America, there's plenty of places to run away. She was not has to be afraid. That's no excuse. Murder. You have to do everything in the world not to murder the guy. Yoyev Avne. Let me just tell you something. Uh, Ashuel, I think it was, was running after, after Avneir, the brother of, 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 of Yoyev. And, and he told him, do not run after me, I'm going to kill you. You're Roidev. You know, you know what a Roidev means? He's running after kill. He said, he didn't step away, because if I, I could kill you very easy, he didn't listen, he turned around, and he killed him. So the mother says, Avne, uh, Yoyev held that he was a murderer because Yuchel the Tzio Me'echa Me'evurov. He could have just cut off his leg. Yeah, you can't, even though he's right if you, he wants to kill you. If a lady is afraid to be killed, just move away. I, when a lady comes, tells me that my husband hit me, I tell her, not only get a, a, a protection or get out of town. No one is going to keep you safe. But there's so many, okay, so there's so many issues with that. Number one, if she leaves town, she's making herself a no, if she gets a thing because he hit her, but what should she do? Her life is more important. I, it's, it's I never, I never take the achrayas. Never. A lady comes to me. I never I say to her, I am not going. I am not going to take to stay on the one roof. Get, you know, there is counsel, special counsels for that. So she went to her counsel. I told her the way you describe, it's not dangerous yet. You know, that's okay, what she told me. My, my point is, is that if she runs away, she makes herself an agoda. If she calls the police, she gets a protective order and. He, he can't provide for her. It's, it's, he can't. Much he's smarter. preventing what can he from do? But coming to that. So say he obeys the order. He has to stay 100 yards away. Then he can sit there and go, I'm not even invited into the house. Well, yeah, but that's, that's true. But she's in danger. She has a right to do that. If it comes to Besden, if such a thing comes to Besden, we would say she had a right to do it. But she, but but she, but she, she can't she demand it. Well, she could demand a divorce. But the question, can we beat him up for it? That's the question. question. But not demand the divorce, she could. The question is, can we beat him up? So she can collect suba. The only thing is, that she, we can't, we can't beat him for that. Right. Give it. So that, that's the thing. That's what it comes down to. Is that? But yeah, we don't have that power. Today. We don't have that power anyway. So I have a guy in the community who doesn't want to give a get. There's nothing he could do. He's a young guy. So you rectify that because in today's world, that's the, way too the much only way, truthfully, honestly, I would say you should make a, a, a when you make get married, you should make the oh, why you think put in two hundred fifty dollars. It brings a fear onto a person. 
that does bring. So it, it, see, it's not who's going to be at fault. You, you have to come to Bezdin. And if you don't come to Bezdin, you don't listen to Bezdin, you don't have to give a get. It's $250 a day. And this was upheld just now, $90,000, nothing to sneeze about. Nothing to sneeze about, ninety. And it was three years only, I think. It was quick at math. It was about just three years. Man. Like the Chuba said, she's a very difficult man. She wants out. That he showed me, uh, 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 what's it called from the, uh, from the, what is this called, from the internet. He quoted a Sefer, and I looked up that Sefer. It's a terrible misquote. He quotes this from a Sefer that all this we're talking about, you cannot force if they're living under one roof. Of the not living under one roof, about you could force. That's his terrible misquote that he quotes. Who's he, he quotes a safer no, called Zakana Haran. That's not the Zakana Haran. Zakana Haran is saying that only, he's talking not when a lady wants out of the marriage. That is when, you know, whatever it is, he moved out. Over here, most often our problem is when the lady says, I don't want him. I'll give you a simple story, very simple story. The first story I was involved. A lady came to me, her husband is very critical. It's very interesting, something she was a modern Orthodox lady. So they were dating each other a long time before, two years or three years they were dating they were in, in college. It, 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 she described to me, if I make one food, why didn't you make lakshin tonight? Why are you wearing this dress? He was very nice to her. There was not, didn't scream, didn't hear her, uh, extremely critical. She said, I cannot live with him. And I remember Rob was screaming, you know, beat him up, beat him up. She said, Smooth a lie. What beating him up? She just I asked her, when you were dating him, how come you, he was, he, he, nothing changed. I asked him, were you dating him? He, I was young and he was uh, tall, good looking, and uh, I felt him. But uh, nothing. She can't, she can't, he didn't want to give a get, he wanted to live with her. And, 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 there were, and there were people demonstrating, they had no right to demonstrate. Api Alukha, they have no right. He want, she's critical, so what? Put cotton to ears. To what extent? Nothing, and that is 90% of the cases. You speak to people, the woman can't get it. She was the one, she said, I had enough, I can't take it anymore. I mean, by your cousin, then it was, so she had enough. He's an interesting guy. She had enough. It's more, it was just more slight. Every, every case came out, it's very rare. Most often, he's a difficult man, and she said, Moose, all right, finished. That's, that's, the, 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 that's, that's the difficulty. We, we can't force a get. Like yeah. oh, and we don't pass him like the Rambam. Rabbi Shonim holds the Rabbi Shonim is the Balotais, is the Rosh, and the Rosh, but the Rabbi Shonim holds well, not like that. When we pass him to get this apostle. So that's what that's what we ask, you know. Anyways, it, it, all I tell people, it's not so easy to have Shalom. My proof is in Kadri, we say, Oishi Shalom Amarimov, Yasi Shalom Aleini. Not so easy to live. You know, we have to dive into the body to have shalom, to have shalom bias. It's not, not so easy. But if you have shalom bias, your life is sweet. And if you don't have shalom bias, the people don't have shalom bias. I look at them, it's like the, the, the life is shattered. What, what is it the other way around? Just like the man, if he doesn't give up, no, they can force him, right? The other way around, the woman's not doing what she's supposed to do. Can you force her? Well, it, it, of course, he, he could get ahead to made a bottom. There's no, you know, that's not, see, that's, it's much easier. He, if a lady doesn't want a lady, uh, 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 um, you know, the famous story of uh, 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 Kotler, the Shishiva in Lakewood. She refused to go to doc uh, what? She refused to go to a doctor's. I think that was the story to have children. She refused. And she didn't want to take a cat. He got a hat and made a bone. Very easy. She didn't want to leave her at the suit. She yeah. didn't want to both. Didn't want to leave her at suit. Didn't want both. They both. They're. You know, you don't need hat to make bone. You don't need much. She doesn't show up to Besden. You can make a hat to make a bone. Many people don't know Hilchus had to make If a lady doesn't show up to best, then make had to make a bunum. You don't need who knows what. I just made a had to make a bunum. Yeah, we, we made a had to make a bunum. The lady who married a, a, a doctor, a Persian lady, and a second marriage, it didn't go well. She wanted uh, half of his money. Even in court, she didn't get it. Because it was a second marriage, I don't know, whatever. And she, just one, she, she disappeared. We may have to marry one. We have no idea where she is. Wait, so just to make a, a sequel over here, if it's a case where he's holding back the Venus, what does the Rabbah hold? Everyone, the Mazoin is then it's. Uh, yeah, the artist showing him if a person doesn't want to give Mazoin and we could force him. That is that he, she, she, it's his fault. She, I want to live with him. 
He doesn't want to give him his earnings. She says, I don't want him. That's, see, that's not the problem. If she says, I want to live with him, I'm the one roof, I don't want to get divorced, I quickly tell you a story. What happened in Palo Alto? Mamish, the story. I want to say the story over. Palo Alto, there was a guy, uh, a smart nautics guy, the, the vice president of one of these huge companies. He was worth $120 million, he was worth. And then he fell in love with uh, one of his secretaries. And, in, and she didn't want to give, she, uh, he, I want Shalom. I don't want to get divorced with four children. And he thought he was going to get a head to made bona. I'm not, I'm not interested. But he went to court first. First, she got half of his money. But she says, I'll give you all the money back. I want Shalom. You know what happened? And the, the other hand, so, uh, um, and this, he thought, I'm going to get married. The girlfriend says, no, 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 no. You, we have to get married. I don't want, uh, even though she wasn't from, I want to get married to you. So she said, for another $12 million, I'll, uh, I'll take you care. Majority <laughs> holders. So she got 60 million plus 12 million dollars. Right. And he was convinced from day one, I'm gonna have to pay a penny. She said, she played the game very good. I don't know if, it's, if they taught her, or the Shitaka wanted Shalom. She said, I don't wanna get. I don't. Four children, they have children together, I'm gonna get, for what? Just because you found love with the Sheikhs over there, or the Yiddish girl, the Friar girl? Okay.